Hi Capricorn, it's Joe from Angels and Ants. Oh God, sorry, Don's just kicked the bloody tripod. I'm trying to get it so. I think that this has spun round a little bit and it's not over the foot. And then I went and kicked it. Brilliant. Hi lovely, it's Joe from Angels and Ancestors. Sorry about that. Um this is your Christmas box. This is your Christmas box. I'm just gonna add another card over the top because that's the ribbon. So I've chosen all the decks. There are 12 cards inside the box, which is the 12 cards, 12 days of Yule. Um and then what we've got on the outside of the box, you have got your current energy and what's crossing you, the cards that are behind you, the cards that are in front of you. The ribbon card would indicate your energy as it stands over the Yule period. So this is going to take you right up into January. Amazing. And then you've got 12 cards in there to give you a broader picture from the oracle deck so let's get started hope you like the table your current situation you just feel like you're juggling juggling your money your emotions your home life your career everything just seems to be up in the air don't you with the two of pentacles the message is clear that you really do need to bring yourself back into balance. You need to get that foot firmly back on the ground. And even if you can only sort one of those things out, maybe it's work-life balance, maybe it's the balance between how much money you're spending and how much you've actually got to spend. Just know that even sorting one of those things out will make you start feeling better. So try to bring yourself back in balance. And even if that is your feelings, bringing your feelings back into balance, seeing the bigger picture and looking at it from a different perspective. You know, we are all strapped for cash in this day and age. We are. So if your money's not going far enough, but you've got enough to pay the bills and put food on the table, um, I've adopted the five present rule so it's something that they need something that they want something um to wear um something to eat and something to read and that's what i get so it keeps it very very limited but it also helps on the pocket as well because there's at least three things in there that you haven't got to spend a fortune on What's crossing you at the moment is the Holly King. Oh, really? Here's the seeker of all knowledge and wisdom around the human condition. He's got his lantern to light the way on his journey. He is also called Father Time. And I'm guessing that this is what's crossing you quite badly at the moment is you have realised it is time for you to understand the human condition, the experience you're going through, but you still haven't got the time to do it. And he is here to tell you, make the time. Make the time to understand what it is that you need to do to bring yourself back into balance. That's huge, absolutely huge. So what is behind you? I'm going to do what's behind you. This side, you walked away from something. You walked away from something, you didn't even bother looking back. There was a door slightly ajar open for you. It was illuminated for you like the lantern with the Holly King. And you just kept fucking walking. What did you walk towards? A new perspective. Taking your time. Thinking things through. Taking a moment to look at all the perspectives instead of going around in circles you've just decided that you need to look more carefully at what is on offer for you Capricorn 
So the other thing that's behind you is the battle wagon. The battles are over. You feel like you're coming back triumphant, but the universe is there to tap you on the shoulder to say, look, just enjoy the journey. You're not in charge of this at the moment. It's just going to end up where it's going to end up. The horses are going to take you where you need to be rather than where you want to be. So I'm kind of getting that that is something that you had to come to terms with. And although they've put you where you need to be, I'm kind of getting that it's unsettled you a bit because it's not exactly where you wanted to be. So just know, stop fighting the battle. It's behind you. So what's in front of you? Options, choices and blessings. How gorgeous is this? Seven of chalices. It could be something to do with love and love comes in many forms. It's not, ju not just lovers. It's about the opportunity to show love to our loved ones, our families, our extending families, our friends, our business colleagues, all of those. Now, there's a bit of a, um, a moral of this story, and that is these options, choices and blessings are yours. You are to make this decision for yourself. However, the little faith folk are here to remind you there are people whispering in your ear. And as you make the decisions about what it is that you're going to choose, whether it's one, whether it's two, whether it's all of them, um, don't do it on other people's say-so. Don't listen, or you can listen to the advice given, but you don't have to act on it. Because if you start listening to other people and what their opinions are, you start living for their life and not for your life their choices not for your choices so the energy that is around you is the harvest there's an abundance around you i don't care what it is i don't care if it's love if it's a harvest if you've put something out into the universe and sowed all these seeds through this period right up into january you are going to see a harvest coming in that is going to help you immensely um with what it is that you need to bring yourself back into balance over and you're going to see it with more clarity so just think about the harvest and the seeds that you've sown the plans that you've made they are coming in towards you so my lovelies your blessed v card blessings of the earth no shit batman this is your card it is absolutely your card blessings of the earth does kick i know it's cold in in the uk at the moment there are parts of the world where you can kick your shoes off and touch base with the earth but it's not that difficult even in the winter in the uk so kick your shoes off your slippers off your socks off and go and stand on a floor in your house and just imagine the magic coming up through the foundations of your house, through the floors and into your feet. Because that is you drawing the energy up from the ground where you specifically need it at the moment. This is my herb deck, uh, the Green Witch Herb cards. And this is a lime and luck it's a number 31 it's a four card it's a celebration card just know that there are celebrations just ahead of you how beautiful is that it's very nice so this is the healing waters deck the sweet water sensuality romance enjoyment fertility and abundance i do believe the earth mother has just presented herself to you to you in your reading how wonderful is that now remember that fertility and we've got balance again here but fertility is the creative side of you so if you're not planning on having children or you've had your children know that fertility is about creation and creation is about those creative things that we make as well as producing offspring so just know the sweet waters are coming in to give you 
the healing that you need, the balance that I've been already talking about, but so that you can enjoy the process of leaving the walking away behind and the battle wagon behind, it's gone, it's gone. You are going to start feeling a sensual side of yourself that you have not felt for quite some time, Capricorn. This is my, oh gosh, I can't remember what it's called. This is my Soul Whispers deck. This came from Australia and I'm in love with it. I don't get to use it as often as I would like. So, put your bare feet on the damp earth. Oh my God, like I've not just said that to you. Stand in the sun, feel the rain on your skin, ground yourself. How important is that to you right now? Earth grounding, the earth mother showing up, it is beautiful. Offerings, number 24. I give to you my heart's intent wrapped in gratitude and thankfulness. Devotion and exchange for your presence. Here I am gifting you my essence. I do believe there may be a brand new relationship over this period of time in the 12 days of Yule. It's definitely indicating that way. But you've had to walk away from something that's made you feel... That maybe love is not for you, but it is 24, it's a 6, it's another celebration, there is a cake there. And I do believe that that's garlic on top of that cake. How lovely is this reading? So my darlings, oh really? Couldn't get much more lovey-dovey than this, it's a number 22. It's a creative card. It is tender embrace. Look at those elephants, or my, as my mum would say, effluents. Yeah, she had some funny sayings, that woman. How beautiful are these creatures coming together in a tender embrace? So nice. You've got the number, to, that's a 22. You don't add that together, it's a prime number. 23 cleansing and storms look at this you are still on the ground in the palm of your hand and the storm is all around you this is cleansing things out this is ensuring with the number five that the storm that you have felt has cleared away so much debris and crap um, that you've cleared enough room for new things to come in towards you I like this card. This is the Shaman deck. The 1 and 4, 14. It's a num another number 5. Second number 5 on the trot. Experience life as it comes with Drifter. Allow yourself, instead of taking a leap of faith, allow yourself to drift into what it is that you want. Do not be resistant towards it. Don't be resistant towards it. Sometimes the boat will just speed up and get to where it's going. Sometimes it will take a few um, twists and turns and the sails may not be working as properly because the wind's not there. But it's saying, come on, just allow this to happen. It is unfolding for you beautifully. Great teacher, learn from spiritual experiences. How nice is that? This is the Rose Oracle, another one that I absolutely love. We are nature, becoming grounded. How many times has that happened in this reading? Becoming grounded, embodiment, living in a connection. Your connection, my darlings, is with the earth. It's with the earth. This is the Rebel Deck. What is already with you? You already know the answers. You have the power to release the butterflies. Can you say you've got the flower of life here behind the dove, which is a symmetrical, mathematical, whatever they call it, and then you've got it 
in here as well i don't know if it's picking it up you'll have to let me know you have the answers it's a 17 so that doesn't have a number that doesn't have a number it's a number eight this is communication with self at a soul level you already have the answers to your prayers lovelies you're out it's not your outcome but it's kind of like the the finished part of the reading with the 12 days you've come through the other side of the dark night of the soul with the number seven it's a 16 but break it down it's a seven with lots of options choices and blessings please choose wisely and don't listen to what other people have got to say we're just gonna finish off with one more card from the green witch tarot can i have one last card for capricorn thank you don't keep feeling like you've been left out in the cold you haven't you've put yourself there you've got the five of pentacles you've got the the protection of the standing stones behind you but you've got your back to it at the moment darlings this is never going to be as bad as this it really isn't it is going to work out for you you might this is how you're feeling right now and this is how you should be feeling ten of the is this is all your issues and problems that you've resolved and now you've put them in the ground and formed a circle of protection around you. You know how to deal with these. So this is completely your energy, massively your energy. So where there's a 10, a completion, there has to be a one, a beginning. So the new beginning is saying to you, draw that energy down or up. And allow yourself to cut out what no longer serves you. But I believe you've already started that process. That's amazing. So don't leave yourself in this energy. Because it's not serving you very well. Lovelies, I hope that was of some help to you. I do actually see a new relationship in this. Now, whether that is a new relationship as in a lovey-dovey relationship or a new baby is being born or somebody is adding somebody to your family, there is somebody special about to walk into your life. Wherever you are in the world, lovelies, a very merry Yule and I will catch you at New Year. Bye for now.